This is my I Feel It steak with salsa verde and oven roasted tomatoes. And today guys, I'm gonna teach you how to do all this and cook the perfect steak in five minutes. Watch the clock right here. We ready? Let's go. So what are you gonna need? You got your parsley, your mint, your basil, thyme, rosemary, the I Feel It steaks, garlic, capers, anchovies, honey, gherkins, tomatoes, lemon, salt, and olive oil. All right, so the first thing you need to do, get your steak straight onto a tray. So season with salt and it gives a nice crust. So you allow it to sit for about 15 minutes and you do that for both sides. I'm just gonna let them set aside for now. Next thing you need to do is grab your mortar and pestle, some rosemary and just get a few sprigs out. Good depth of flavor in these hard herbs. Okay, chuck in your garlic. Pinch of salt and olive oil straight into your mortar. Now you need to grab your thyme and you just wrap something like you know a string or in this case a rubber band at the bottom to hold the whole bush together. Now what you can do is you add that to your mortar and just simply give it a bash. So as you can see we've created a brush, we've got all our herbs, our garlic and oil infused and we're going to use that to baste our steak. Set that aside for now and let's get on to our tomatoes. Really simple, tomatoes into a mixing bowl, our honey, our salt, and our olive oil. Jamie Oliver, eat your heart out. Okay, now give it a good mix. Okay, so I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees. So next thing to do is just line a baking tray with baking paper and then just spread your tomatoes right onto that tray itself. Final seasoning of salt. And they go straight into the oven. How am I doing for time? Okay, next thing is our salsa verde. Into our blender, we have got our gherkins, our capers, anchovy, some fresh basil, again just tear it off because you're going straight into a blender, our mint which offers a really really refreshing flavour and aroma, and our parsley. Love tearing herbs. Grab your lemon, Roll it out, extract as much juice as possible in half, hand over the top, filter it, and squeeze through. Okay, finish off with your olive oil. And blend. Always taste. That's really good. All right. So, steaks have been sitting there. We've got our salsa verde ready, tomatoes in the oven. Time to start cooking our steaks. Today I've got a barbecue, but if you've also got a griddle pan, it works just as well. So we've got a herb oil, a brush, our steaks. And now just before we start putting them on, we're gonna brush them first. Okay, now you want a piercing hot pan. Nice sizzle, obviously the herb oil side down first. And you want to flip them every 15 seconds to get a nice, nice crust, but ensure the centre isn't affected. Every single time you turn them, you brush them with your herb oil. Right, so steaks are great, but it's always important you let your steaks rest, cover them with some foil, because that ensures when you cut into it, the juices don't run. Which means your steak is that much tastier. Okay, so let's serve it up. We've got our board, we've got our steaks, we've got our spoon for our tomatoes. And then, of course, we've got our salsa verde. 
Stop the clock. There you go, guys. I just taught you how to cook a steak with some roasted tomatoes and a salsa verde in under five minutes. Oh, gotta be happy with that.